Well, hello there. Welcome to Band Music Radio and our webinar about the info programs that we are launching on Band Music Radio in just the next few weeks. So I have to move my stuff around here. Notice that we have some technical, sorry. <laughs> Need to make an adjustment here so we can see what's going on here. We've got some stuff in the way. Um, I'm Chris Passion. I'm the director of bandmusicradio.com. And today we're going to be talking about how ways you can connect with band music radio listeners and as well as your listeners or your um, potential clients. Um, it's not just exclusive to those that listen to band music radio. So there's a bunch of different ways you can use it. We're going to be taking your questions and answers throughout the uh, event here. So I want you to make sure that you know how to do that. Um, if you look just below this, down below the video here, there should be a box that says, got a question. And if you go ahead and we're going to give it a test right now to make sure everybody knows how to use that. And I'm going to look over here on my little other screen to make sure I'm seeing everything. If you can go just put a hi or your name or something like that so I can see that it's working. I want to make sure that everybody can get a hold of that and see how it's working. Because we're going to need that throughout the event. We want you to be participating in this and help directing it because there's a couple of places where I need your input on this. So please go ahead and do that. So that's good. I see a couple people doing that right now. So um, we will be taking questions throughout. If you have uh, questions, just put them in that box. I'll take, try to take a look at it. You'll notice when I look over here, that's the other screen that tells me, shows me um, your questions. So and you may see me doing that throughout the time. A bunch of different stuff here. We've got a lot of stuff to cover. We're going to try to wrap this up in 30 minutes if possible. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So. Um, we want to get going here, so let's just jump right into the content. Um, and uh, let's see if we're going to get PowerPoint to work here. One of the features is we can have PowerPoint running, but not if it doesn't want to work. Maybe we won't have it working. Run it again. Press the down arrow. Because if you live it. If you use PowerPoint, you know, sometimes it works fine, sometimes it doesn't want to work at all. So, first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about band music radio and just give you a little background on that. Um, in case you're new to band music radio, um, I want to make sure that you know a little bit about it. Our focus at band music radio is, let's see, will it show? It's not going to show. Our focus is to get music to the ears of band directors, band members, and band boosters. What that means is there are all kinds of, of band music out there. And as a band, uh, a young band student, I got to play a lot of cool music. Part of it is because um, our band actually went to Chicago Midwest Clinic um, and was connected into those circles. So our band director knew a lot of um, stuff, networking and uh, with publishers and stuff, and knew the good old stuff and the new stuff that was coming in. A lot of band directors don't, especially ones coming right out of college, and we have a lot of them, at least here in Minnesota. I've been finding out we got a number of number of them. Um, and they don't, don't necessarily know all the publishers out there, especially some of the small publishers that have really good stuff. So part of our focus, or actually I should say a big part of our focus, is just making sure that those band directors know about what's out there. And unless we put it all in one spot on band music radio, they, it's really hard to find it as a director if you've done that before. So you know about that. So let's see. We're going to see if we're going to have to manually click through every slide here. Technology is really working. Uh, first of all, before we get too far deep into this, I'd really like to know how many of you, let's see if we'll go, come on, band quiz time. How many of you are or have been a band director? If you can just write that, write director in the Q&A area, that would be great. I'm going to go over here and check it now. and I'm going to go and put in Yeah, now I forgot to mention, make sure you click on the submit your question. And I'm going to go back here and see how many of you have responded to that. I have to do a couple clicks here. I'll give you a little bit of tips on, we'll talk about what I'm doing over here. You'll actually um, get an idea of what's going on here as we go through. I'm going to give you a little tour. Um, 
Um, so we do have a couple directors here, so that's good to see. And I should mention also, before we get too far into it, um, that we are going to... Uh, I did. Uh, we're going to take a tour of the webinar stuff so you can see what's going on there. So, But it's good to see we have a few directors that are involved. Um, and if you're a band director, you know that it's not just about music, that there's also a lot of other things that go into it. And if you <laughs> calculated your time, uh, there's a good chance it might not be that there's a another mo a, a small part of your time, but maybe a, a good part of your time that goes into other things. Um, so Band Music Radio also, our focus is, or sub-focus sub is to provide directors, band members, and boosters with information that will help build their band. Now that might be related to fundraising. That's one we all think of, especially if you are a traveling band. Um, fundraising, but also that might have to do with uniforms. Uh, if you're marching, you definitely need to have uniforms. Um, travel. If you're going different places, contests, all kinds of different things. It may, if you have uh, string players, it may have something to do with specifically with how to work with string players. Um, it might be um, for your double reeds, um, you know, how to make your own bassoon reed, um, <laughs> that kind of thing. We'd really like to have that information out there. We're in the process of connecting with a couple other publications to help bring some of their stuff, or their content, on the bandmusicradio.com. And we're looking forward to that so we can partner with those so that, hey, you may get it in a magazine. But we may cover it also. And so if you missed an article in a magazine, which I've done, I get, I get the subscriptions, but, you know, you just don't always get through every article. Um, we'd like to help bring some attention to some of those articles so that you know, hey, look at that. I missed that. So if you listen to band music regularly, bandmusicradio.com regularly, um, you'll have a chance to to get updated on that. So I'm just looking at my notes here to make sure that we have. Um, we're going to take a minute now to talk about webinars themselves. Now we call them on bandmusicradio.com. We actually call our what our webinars, they're actually our info programs because they're a little bit different than just a webinar. But um, I want to make sure that we cover what webinars are for those that don't know. So first of all, I'd like people to just go ahead and let me know if you've attended a webinar online like this before. So if you can just write in attended or webinar or something like that in there so that I know that uh, I can see how many people have participated in so I know how much to cover. We'll cover a little bit no matter what, but I want to make sure we've got that. Okay. We've got one person that has done that. A couple more. So that's good. Double check and see. Refresh it here. Make sure I'm getting everybody's comments in here. Okay. So we've got a few that have participated. So I'm not going to go too deep into it, but um, um, we're just going to cover a little bit about it. It's basically what you're in right now. It's a video presentation, video audio presentation that, as you've seen, we have a little bit of everything here. So right now you're looking at a PowerPoint presentation. Um, we could do almost anything that I put on my screen. So um, I have the ability here to be able to put two things on the screen. This is um, the video camera. So you can see me talking. Um, so if we were to do a webinar with you in this, we have other technology that we can put on so that you can participate in, in it also. Um, so we can have two people. So we could have uh, two faces going on there, or three. We're working on one that we're going to work with three different present presenters uh, coming up in the next few weeks, so we're working on that. Um, the other thing I want to show you what we can do is, and I'll just make sure I can click over there. We can put almost anything that appears on the screen up onto um, on the share, so we can do that. The other thing that webinars usually do is they offer uh, provide an offer. Um, and because you registered for the event, I have your email address, and it's in a list, so I can send you um, an email directly, um, specifically related to this content today that we're doing. So um, we can do that. See my notes. So that's really about it. Um, the, oh, the good, uh, the difference is um, 
for you as a participant, there's different ways that you can participate in a webinar. Um, some of them, if you're familiar, many of them used um, Citrix um, there, and I just blanked on the name, um, but there's also go to webinar, go to meeting, a lot of places use that. Go to meeting is a smaller group of people, maybe about 15 or 20, I think it's limited at 20 right now. Go to webinar, I think you can have up to a thousand. What we're using is a system that will allow us to have unlimited amounts of people. We can have, I think, 10 people that are presenting is the maximum, but we can have unlimited amounts of people watching in like you are right now. So that's cool. The other thing is, is that our system allows us to have a replay later so we can make this available um, for watching anytime later and we can control how that's viewed and also get the email before people view it so it's not just uh, out there on YouTube sitting there for anybody to view without us knowing who has participated in it. Uh, right now we're going to shift over. I'm going to switch back to the screen here so you can see we're going to take a little bit of a walkthrough of what the end user sees on our webinar system. So, and I'll tell you that what we actually have three different webinar systems that we use at different times. Um, we do use GoToWebinar slash GoToMedia. I'm call, calling those kind of the same thing. We use those occasionally. Um, there's a number of reasons why we don't use it primarily. And the biggest thing is GoToWebinar has a limit of a thousand people, um, no matter what, even if you pay for their top of the line um, system. There's also some other limitations on it. Um, in most of our events, we want everybody to participate. Uh, we don't want to limit it to a thousand people. We don't want to limit it to um, other things. The other, the other issue is go to webinar, uh, Citrix, both require you to have a plugin, um, actually a piece of a program that runs on your computer. I, as a developer, don't like that, and many people don't like to have to install something just to watch a video. It just seems un it just seems backwards in our day and age. Um, people are used to just going to YouTube, click on a button, watch a video, not have to install a program. So that's why we primarily use a, a different system than what we're using right now. Um, the primary system that we use is not up and running right now. It's down. So we've had to go with our backup. That's why we've had a little bit of bumps and uh, problems uh, this morning with our getting going. Um, so it's our backup system and has, it works a little bit different, but from the end user it works pretty much the same. Um, you'll see very similar things. So let's take a look at what a user would see. And you've seen some of these already. First of all, um, there's we have a uh, an invite that goes out. Now that invite may go out via email. You may have seen it, uh, uh, gotten an email from us. You might have seen it on Twitter, on Facebook, or on um, our Google Plus page. Um, somebody may have shared it with you. The other thing for band music radio events is if it's aimed at the general directors and listeners and supporters, um, you might also hear it on air. So we can just announce it. Hey, we're having a, we're having a, a, a live event this Saturday be sure to join us. Um, and I should note that our info programs are actually going to be scheduling those to regularly happen on Saturday mornings. That's our time block when we'll have live events happening so people can know, hey, we'll check out. That's our time to learn. Um, and they're automatically rebroadcast. The nice part about that is not only do you get the the video or the webinar experience here if you signed up, but you can just listen on air if you just want to listen, um, or it may draw people in. So people could be listening and they can say, hey, that sounds good, and hey, there's something on the screen. So they can jump into the live webinar and see what's going out. So that invite can go out however, whatever works. We help send that out. You can send it out to your people. The other thing is, or when you do click on the link, you go to a landing page, it's called. And this is our landing page for this event. So you can see what it has, a little bit of basic information. It has, it doesn't have to have, but generally will have, uh, a welcome video here. So it tells you a little bit about it, what's going on, what you should do, how you register so that people know. Um, and you can watch this. Um, you've, you should have seen this already. So we have this little information here about the event. Um, so people can find out what they want. The next thing, the next page they go to, and you should have gone to that after you registered, it takes you to a thank you page. So there's another video here by me, um, and it says, uh, thanks for signing up. Um, gives you the ticket information, and, and there you have all the different stuff. The nice part about this is um, it has the web address that's 
customize for you. Um, there's a nice thing I like about this is the little buttons here where you can add it to your Google Calendar or your Outlook or iCal calendar. So you can throw it right on the calendar so nobody has to forget about it. It makes it very easy to put it up there. The other thing we can do, we didn't put it out here because I didn't really have a handout uh, for this event. Um, but right in this bottom space here, if we want to give out a handout in advance, like if this is going to be more of an instructional um, thing where you want to say, hey, here, here's, you know, we're going to cover five steps of how to save your band program. Uh, we can put a link there that people can automatically download right after they've signed up. That allows them to do a little bit of an advanced reading. Um, or at least have the sheet and print it out so they can write in the notes. I encourage um, everyone to do that when you're going to do anything that's um, going to involve learning. Make sure they use their hands, not just type notes. So that's that can go on that page. After that happens, you should be, the, or actually I should say, go back here, that link there that's on that, which you obviously clicked on if you are watching this, will take you to the live event page. So you have this information here, and I'm not going to press it right now where you'd start seeing it actually go. But the video appears there. You should be watching on a page like this. We have the event information that's there on the left side. Um, we can also put some, you can see some important links that are there on the left side. That allows us, um, if there were other information you want to follow up or something like that, um, we can do that. Um, also, we've got the q and I mentioned that. Um, and for different events, we use different Q&A systems. Right now, we're using just a really basic system. Um, so um, this is what it is. We also have the, the ability to put in chat, uh, live chat, so everybody can see. So if we want to actually have a, a discussion event, we can do that right there so that everybody can see what everybody's doing. So that just dep depends on... Uh, what we want the event to look like. So for right now, we're just using the very simple thing. Now, the other thing is, is that when it's done, uh, it's not just over. We actually have a a um, a replay page. So this is what it looks like on the replay page. I believe we're on the replay page. Let me just make sure. Oh, that's not the replay page. Uh, that's just the live page, another copy of it. Oh, that was the countdown page, but it won't show. Um, you already saw the countdown page if you were waiting for this live. Um, it looks similar to this, but it just has the, the note that the event has not started yet. So it just counts down. So if people come to the site, they know, okay, it's starting in five minutes. I can come back in three or four minutes. Um, and this is the replay page. We have the ability to allow the replay to remain live only for a certain amount of time and then it automatically goes down. Um, that's good for things, you know, maybe we're previewing um, an event or we're talking about an event coming and we want to just have it up until the event happens. Uh, could be used for almost anything. So that's it. It automatically expires and tells people, sorry, it's gone. But on the page, you can see that you obviously have this and all of our co question systems will actually work and they will send emails um, if the event is over, it'll send emails in so that we can follow up with those. So that's about how the system works. And we've covered all the pages, so those are the pages. And like I said, we use several different systems, and they all look a little bit different, but generally that's how they work. Um, and I want to go back to one page, though, here, um, right at the beginning, that if when you signed up for this, you may not be aware of what happens and I want to make sure you know this. Um, looking through my notes, making sure I don't have this down later. Yeah. Um, when you signed up for your name and email, you were added to an email list. Now, you may be familiar with that. I'm sure you've signed up for many email lists. What's nice about this is you are now on our email list for webinars or info programs that you have shown an interest in that. Um, you should have gotten an email if you were signed up before we went live. Um, you should have gotten reminders, one at the start of the day and one about an hour beforehand um, so that you can do that, um, so that you don't forget about the event. The other thing that we do with all of our events is we use social media, so there were automatically scheduled emails that are tweets and Facebook updates and everything that went out, you know, an hour beforehand reminding people there. So if you saw the Twitter, if you follow us on Twitter, you saw that. Um, that's all tied into the system. So by having that 
little form there with just two boxes um, where you enter your name and your email. Um, that allows us to get that information and then we have that so that we can know, oh, these are the people that are interested in that product. So, so that's it. So we're going to try to see if my PowerPoint is working over here. Just a lovely, lovely system here. I should have, I need about um, four more screens here to to cover everything. Let's see, I think we have another band quiz we need to do. And I guess we're not going to do that. The band quiz is not working, so we're not going to cover that right now. Let's skip ahead. So we're going to cover a little bit about the benefits that go for a participating in a webinar. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to let us go ahead. If I click over here. There we go. Let's skip ahead. Let's get back. Here are the benefits. Um, first of all, uh, webinars allow you to talk face-to-face -face with potential clients. Now, if you're used to um, going to band conferences, you get that opportunity whenever you go to a conference. Um, when we are at Chicago Midwest, um, talk to lots of people, and probably many of you I got to meet there. Um, the only problem is Midwest only happens once a year. Um, M Music Minnesota only happens once a year. Um, Music California only happens once a year. You have all these events that only happen once a year. So the pro and the problem is is that many people here in Minnesota, where we're located, don't travel down to Chicago even for Midwest, even though it's relatively close to us. Um, they don't go every year. Um, and in fact, they some of the directors here don't go even to our Minnesota conference every year. The other thing is you as a uh, service provider or providing a product can't hit every state convention every year. So that means you could go two years without connecting with people face to face. So this way it allows you, or at least them, to see your face um, and to hear what you're saying. You can look right at them, you can talk to them, and you can share, hey, this is what's going on. This is the great thing that we've got going right now. And you can talk to them. You have 30 minutes or an hour to talk to them about what it is that you're doing and what you've got going for them. And you can demonstrate your product or service, depending on what it is. Now, um, the one thing that we have limitations with is just the audio quality is not great when we do it here um, on the live e uh, event feed right now. That's where technology is still catching up to us. But that's the benefit of band music radio because we have it where right now, let's see if we can do it. I think we can do it. You should be hearing band music radio live right now. Um, so, see if I can name that tune. Should have a contest to see if we can name that tune. But the nice thing about it is not only can we pull in band music radio because we're in the same studio as the, the system, we can actually send out to that. And band music radio audio is very high quality. So people could listen on band music radio and they could watch here. So we could work out cool things for that. But for the most part, we're looking at demonstrating different things. So we've got, we're going to be trying demonstrating some new music coming up in, a, uh, I think, a couple weeks, two or three weeks. So we've got one that we're putting in the work. So that's uh, different things that you can do with band music uh, radio, the webinars, so the benefits to you. It's, it's really it's that face-to-face, one-on-one. So here we go. Here's the question. The band quiz. Have you presented a webinar before? So I'm going to take a look over here. I'm going to go over here to our handy-dandy Q&A computer. Helps to have multiple screens and multiple computers for this. And I'm going to talk to you about what uh, equipment and the you have to do on your end if you want to participate in these and uh, be participate or presenting in these in just a minute. So don't get scared away the fact that I have multiple computers and I have all this. But uh, looks like we have we have one person that has participated in this cool. Um, the if you've done it yourself by yourself, it can be daunting. Right now, I'm running it all by myself. I'm talking, running the PowerPoint. I don't recommend that. <laughs> And for our webinars, we don't do that. We actually um, do a little bit differently on that. So we have a, an engineer uh, behind the scenes. We don't have that today, unfortunately. 
my engineer is gone and had to be gone on Tuesday so we um, we don't usually do these during the middle of the week that's why we do it on Saturday so we can have um, uh, my other assistants help me with this so that's what we're working on so here's some of the other benefits and I have to look at my notes because I don't have these on the PowerPoint to share with you so um, here's just some of the other benefits of doing a webinar with band music radio why you should do it um, webinars are just good you should be doing webinars it is the latest thing in sales and marketing online because you can be in every state of the country you can we're anywhere you can pick this webinar up anywhere in the world actually so we might actually have some of our publishers watching from the UK I'm hoping they're watching and they may be watching delayed just because of the time I'm looking at right now that we're live um, but we can time that um, so that you know anybody in the world can see this and see what's going on however like I mentioned the technology can be daunting um, in front of me right now I can just tell you what we have um, I have uh, over here I have a monitor um, that displays the PowerPoint I can see my screen that's a screen that I'm sharing I have another screen here that shows me all my controls and that's the control to, for the video system we have a high-end video system that handles that um, we have a PowerPoint I also have my notes but they're under the PowerPoint so I'm having to use the old-fashioned printed notes for today um, there's also what else is on there there's some other things that are buried on the screen there there's also the camera that's right here that I'm using and looking at um, the other thing that we have over here I have the my other computer over here that handles the information or the communication control so if you have a send me a note I see it over here so that's all the different things not to mention you can kind of see we have high-end microphones here so it looks right this is our um, production studio microphone that we use for band music radio so if it sounds similar to band music radio that's because this is the microphone we use for all that recording you don't need to do that um, that's the biggest benefit of having band music radio handle this for you um, basically what we do is we'll sit down and we'll have a conversation with you and this similar to this however all you would have to do to make this a conversation that we'd be presenting with you is you would have to have a webcam obviously right there we have we have a tip sheet that we'll be sending you um, after the fact uh, follow-up email will go out to you with just here's the here's the equipment that we recommend so you know what's involved as far as cost on your end for setting up one-time cost um, but here's a webcam that we recommend you can use almost any webcam so if you have a, a Mac uh, laptop anything like that with a built-in webcam they should work um, we recommend some higher end ones but we're not talking about thousands of dollars we're talking about a hundred bucks for a micro for a webcam if you're if you have an older laptop or something you want to use the other thing is a good microphone so we have a very nice studio microphone I don't think I can actually get it up into the screenshot because it's mounted down here it's mounted so that it doesn't pick up the vibrations of everything very nice one if you've seen a studio you know they have the shock mount and we have our nice windscreen um, but there are other microphones that you can get that all you and we have a sound board and that kind of stuff so you don't need all that you just need a handy dandy win uh, webcam and then a good microphone and there's a really good one that we recommend that just plugs into your USB port you can use it on a Mac a PC anything plug it in and it goes and that's really all you need um, you may need a Skype account um, depending on the type of webinar we're doing we might use Skype for the event to pull your your video and audio in we might use you through a Google Plus Hangout. Just depends on the type of event that we're ha having. So, checking the time here. I want to make sure we get through all this. So that's the technical part of it. Um, it saves you also the cost. Um, although you could do an event on Google Plus Hangouts for free, you can't do all the the pages that we looked at over there. Sorry, pointing the wrong screen. I'm backwards here. Um, that we looked at in that other those other screens where people sign in. Um, you get their email you can't do that with Google Plus you have to have higher end systems that handle that that does cost money the benefit of it is band music radio we get the service we have it then we can use it provide it to you and um, you may only use it one day a week or one day a month well we divide the cost above among everybody so everybody gets to use that uh, you don't have to pay for uh, a month of service when you aren't going to be using it other than one hour um, on the day so and I'm realizing we forgot to turn the studio phones <laughs> ringer off so if you'll hear the national anthem we should all stand as the national anthem got turned on for the ringer um, so 
notes. Turn off the phone before you record a webinar. Anyway, so that's the other thing. The other thing that helps is, is that you are not going to have to do webinars the first time and work out all the bugs in that. Um, I've been working on webinars for over three or four years. We've been doing them for different businesses. Um, I, in addition to band music radio and doing the radio station itself, I also work with a number of um, people in the music industry, helping them with their internet technology as well as other um, outside the music industry. Um, so I've been doing that. The other thing is I have 20, over 20 years of working with technology and communications and video production. So um, the nice thing is we want to help you with this. We want you to just be focused on your product or service. We want to get that out to the band directors without you worrying about, oh, did this work or did we have a problem with that? And oh, just getting distracted by that. Give it to us. We'll help all that technology we want to talk to you and interview you and get your word across and your services out there uh, to the band directors so they can get it. So, and that's why we've made everything on the band directors side very easy. We don't use the plug-in things or download stuff. You just click on a link and watch the thing. Give us your email address so we can follow up with you. Anyways, the other thing about doing it through band music radio, aside from the cost, the ease of use, um, and that is, is that it's a third party. Um, it's not just you getting up there and talking like I'm doing right now for Band Music Radio, but it's one of us here from Band Music Radio talking with you about your product, asking you questions. Um, I've worked in band, both public school, we've worked with private school and home school, and also college level, just a little bit of everything. Um, worked in the arts community or community arts programs. So I've worked in a number of different things. So I know what it's like to, to be a band director and I have the questions. I can sit down and ask you questions as well as some of our other team so that we can get a good interview. Um, and we also have the actual band directors watching live asking questions, but we can sit down and take time to, to have a really good conversation and just let other people listen in so we can share that information. We can do that. Um, I am impartial. I'm not um, an employee of your company, even the companies that I do uh, consult with in the music industry. I'm not their employee. I just come in and help them out. So this is another way that I help them out. Um, the other thing is I'm very good at playing dumb. <laughs> so when it comes to content, um, and sometimes you may think it's not playing, uh, but we, I can come in and I can just ask questions to get to understand your product or service better so that I know uh, band directors I know I can ask questions that will help them understand. So that's what I want to help you do. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that's a little bit about it. I'm going to take a second here over here to take a look at our handy dandy question and answer computer. Take a second to grab water. And we're good instru our vocalist. I also work in vocal music. Um, drinking water, not coffee. Drink coffee at other times, but not when we're singing or talking. Just looking. Okay, no other questions right now, so we'll just go right into what you the question you might have, and that is, how much is this going to cost? Uh, we've talked about different things, so now we're going to talk about that. So let's go over here. See if PowerPoint is going to pay attention here. Oh, we already did our field trip. That was where we went through it. I'm a little bit behind in my PowerPoint. We talked about what the value was. Okay, here's where I need to ask you a question. What is the lifetime value of a new client to you or your industry? So you don't have to share trade secrets here. Just in your general industry, how much is uh, a, a new client worth? Now, now, not a product. Now, this is the different thing when you're looking at this. Um, when you're investing in a webinar, actually, I would say in almost any advertising, you need to get beyond just saying, oh, if I sell one of your, if you're selling music, um, if I sell one band chart uh, to a band, um, they go for, okay, let's say it goes for 100 bucks, and, okay, say you're, you're making 60% profit. So say it's you're making 60 bucks on it. Okay, I've made 60 bucks. Um, okay, I'm going to do a webinar that's going to cost a few hundred dollars. Hold it. How is that going to make sense if I don't get 100 people buying it? That is not the goal of webinars, um, at least not the end goal. 
especially when you're talking about people in the band industry. As a former band director, I can tell you, um, and the person who coordinated the traveling and the fundraisers, I didn't um, just go out and look every time for a new advertiser to or a new fundraiser company to use. Um, I used the same fundraising company over and over. Part of it was just convenience. Um, but once I, I did some research at first, but then I used the same one. And about every two years, a couple of years, I think we looked at new uh, vendors or when something interesting come along. But the idea is, is that you're not looking to sell a product, you're looking to glean a client. So tell me how much, I forgot to put it, click the next button here. Um, how much in the Q&A area can you put, just jot it in there, number, how much is a new client worth for you? So if you are in the travel business, um, if you get a new band um, as a client, how much is that band worth? You know, it, over the life, not just a one time, but hopefully you're going to have a good product and service. They're going to come back to you over and over. Uh, travel, it might be every other year. You know, if they take a trip every other year, not every year, um, you can average that out. But, you know, put in there, let's see, let's get some numbers over here and see. I'm going to refresh the page. This is our backup system. I have to remember that I have to click the button every time I want to look at, see what questions are coming in. It's not the interactive live chat that we have on our primary system. So I'm just looking at this. So I'm saying, okay, you've got the idea. <laughs> After I clarify that, not, not $50. Um, if you're only making $50 a lifetime on a client, um, and I guess I guess some of the things I saw at Midwest, you know, if you're a baton maker, you're not going to have a lot of um, long-term benefits unless you consider, you know, word of mouth that you may get from it. But we're looking for webinars mostly. Um, you're talking about how uh, the bigger picture where you know a band director that's good yeah so for travel you might do this here's a good one publishers good thing you picked that i was hoping somebody would pick the number i guessed in advance actually i know some of the industry so i guessed it a number um and i've put it in here so we're going to get back to that in a minute but i'm going to go over the cost of the packages real quick and i have to switch back to my screen and i'm going to show you how you can at any time um, find out how much any of our sponsorships cost. Now we'll go back over here. Probably I'm going to have to log in again. Yeah, I'm going to have to log in. So I'm going to pick up. Um, come on, Get me log in. I'm going to go to bandmusicradio.com, and all you have to do is log in. And of course, it's going to take a little bit. And under the Advertisers tab, now if you're not listed as an advertiser and it doesn't show up as that, you may need to drop me an email so that you can have access to that. If you signed in as a primarily as a publisher, then you'll be under that. So, But what you do is we want you to go over and we want to click on that Advertisers tab. And if you scroll down to the bottom, here's just some news that's um, information there that we have. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this link, Sponsorship Opportunities. Now, there may be individual sponsorship op opportunities up there in advertising, but this shows you all the special sponsorship that's current right now. So if you'll go ahead and do that, um, when you have time, we're going to go through it. And I'll show you, this is all the sponsors that are out there right now as the recording this. So it changes throughout the year. Um, it changes and... Um, so it, you, it may or may not look this way right when you check it right now. But first of all, we have a uh, daily sponsorship. That's when, when anybody goes to the website uh, and clicks on listen or uses the, the smartphone uh, mobile app. Everybody, when they first start listening to Band Music Radio, they always hear this sponsored by. Today's bandmusicradio.com is sponsored by, and then it's a little blurb about the, the sponsor. The next one is the song of the week that we're about ready to roll out. And that is a, uh, a song that we pick, um, and it's just one that we think that, hey, you might miss because we keep adding so much music, you know, to the radio station. So whereas right now, the average of repeats you might hear, other than the, the new songs that we intentionally repeat pretty often um, in the morning and afternoon, um, other than that spectrum, which you may hear the same song, you know, twice in the, the same day if you listen all day long, with the song of the week uh, or, or other songs, you probably won't hear them for about three days right now, um, depending on the time of day you listen to. But if 
but as we add more music, we're concerned that some really good songs might get lost. Like if you're just listening at the after in the afternoon hour, which we encourage most band directors to do after school, um, that you're going to miss some cool songs. So we've decided to go with, with a song of the week um, where we feature something that's just really cool song that we think that bands should consider taking a look at. So it may be new, it may be an old standard. So we'll put that on there, and you can sponsor that. So so that you can get heard right there, and that'll be current, you know, played several times a day. Uh, the mobile app I mentioned that we're almost ready to roll out, we um, can have a sponsor for that, and you can be on that. Have your logo right on the app, so anytime anybody watches, listens on their app, it's there. I guess I should have closed the door. It's spring in Minnesota, so the dogs are out barking. So unfortunately, we have a window in our studio. Um, and the next is the info programs that we mentioned. We're going to talk. I'm going to click on that in a minute, but I'll just mention the great hours, new thing we're working on where we play a, one entire hour of a certain grade every day of the week. So you can read more about that. Advanced Music Special if you want to sponsor another special program. But we're going to go in here. So you can click on any of these and get more details, and that will actually show you how much it is. We don't make it secret. Um, it's right there. Here's the information about it. It shows you when the times are when these things happen. Some of them are 24-7, like the daily sponsor. It just happens all the time. In this case, our info programs, I mentioned we're doing them live on Saturdays or on Tuesdays. And if it's live on Saturday, we rebroadcast it on Tuesday. We also rebroadcast it later in the same day. So it broadcasts um, uh, a rebroadcast on the same day. I'm trying to see if we can see this. If Maybe a little bit hard. It's a little small on the screen. But here we go. Um, our, our Saturday morning block starts at 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. We also have a rebroadcast three hours later on all of them. Um, so And that runs on the radio and on the, the webinar so they can watch it too. So it's kind of cool there. Now if you scroll down, you'll see the actual cost. So here's, here's what they cost right now. This is our current cost for each of them. So we have uh, a 60 minute block and a 30 minute block right now. We don't go over 60 minutes. We will not, you won't have people listen to you more than that. Um, and uh, I recommend that unless you have some really important content, uh, you try to stick it to 30 minutes or you're engaging. Uh, if, if it's just one person like me, you shouldn't go over uh, 30 minutes like I have already, but we need to cover some information. Um, so we'll do that. But that's, those are the things you can always check that out. So we're looking at $300 or $600, and you can do either one. Um, and that covers everything. Um, and you can see what you get. All of our sponsorships show you the availability, uh, the cost, what the options are. Some of them have some discounts right now as we launch them new. This is our launching price right now. It may or may go up or may not, depending on if, if we do some more of these and realize oh, it's going to take us more hours to do that. We may change the rates a little bit right now. They aren't going to go down from here. Um, you can see how many we have available. Um, in, in this case, if you don't have a product you want to sell in a webinar, you may want to sponsor. We're also doing just content webinars where we have guest speakers come in and share some uh, some training for band directors or for uh, band booster organizations, how to do financial accounting for booster organizations, that sort of thing. And you just want to sponsor it. That's cool. You can sponsor the program, and you get, you know, you may we may invite you to sit in on it, and we can talk to you a little bit about it live, about your programs and your services that tie in. It should be a link there, but so that shows it. And you also get a quick list of what you get. Uh, the most important thing is is that you're not just paying to be heard for 30 minutes or 60 minutes. The biggest thing is is that we're going to help promote your product outside of that webinar, um, and get people to the webinar and to the replays. Um, it's that email box that we talked about, name and email, where we get the contact information. And it's not just random. You know, when, when you listen to band music radio, you'll have hear different ads that are for all sorts of different things. I don't know who is looking for a travel agency right now. We run ads for travel agents. We run them for fundraising companies. So we run all kinds of ads during the regular programming of the day. But when you have a webinar like this, you know that if people signed up, gave you their phone or their name and their email address, they're interested in this. So if you're doing one on travel uh, to Florida, um, you know if somebody signs up and gives you their email, they're interested in travel to Florida. So that's worth a lot more. We know that that person has some interest in that. So 
that's why it's that's the value of it we also help you communicate with them so we'll either give you we prefer to give you the email addresses in a list so you can then follow up with them but we also offer the service independent of the webinar just as a follow-up service helping you market um, of coaching you through how to do good email uh, follow-up and we're hoping to do some more webinars ourselves aimed for you to be able to promote that a little bit better so that's it on those I'm going to take a look and make sure that we don't have any questions if you do have questions remember just throw them in that Q&A underneath there click the little blue button and then wait a few seconds and then I should see it here so I'm gonna go over here and make sure I don't have any more that I haven't missed if we were doing a live one with you presenting um, yours I would be interviewing you we would have an engineer would actually be feeding me questions so that while you're talking I can look at the questions and then I can ask those questions of you so there's not this disconnect over here that's why we can actually get a 30 minute program in in 30 minutes um, and not have me fumbling through multiple computers over here so that's the good part of it so it doesn't look like we have any questions right now we're gonna go back over and we're gonna switch back over to can we get PowerPoint to show up on the screen that would be really nice let's go back okay so we've covered the cost of the packages so now what we're going to do is what is the value so we've looked at we're going to compare to uh, the full value of a one hour so we're looking at $800 for the cost so that's the cost of the webinar so if we have an average attendance of 100 now that may include we're kind of throwing in there you know that's a pretty good good size it's achievable attendance at one of our webinars and also with the replays it could well go over that but if we have a attendance of 100 that's a good webinar um, like I said we're aiming at more than that now in internet marketing everybody will tell you that an average purchase rate from a presentation of 1% is not bad that's actually good and it's actually re understandable or ex you can expect that because we have targeted like I mentioned with those emails the people that are coming to ours are just not random people you're not sending a random email out to everybody um, these are people who are actively looking right now so even your own email list may not be as uh, as accurate and as valuable as these webinars because you may have gotten those emails three years ago that those people may not be looking for you know uh, fundraisers right now they may be all sad or they don't need to fundraiser but this is current right now this shows you who is interested in fundraising right now so a one percent return rate or people purchasing is not at all unreasonable and it's pretty good actually I'd say it's probably a bit, little bit low based on what the industry trends are for webinar response the other thing is number of new clients so if we look at that we say okay we started with a hundred people attending and we had um, 100 people attend and 1% have said yeah they want to buy the product well then we've got one person that that means one person is going to be a new client well what that means then let's switch back over here you switch so you can see it this gets a little small if I could do that on the screen so the cost of a new client we're gonna say is $800 because you've spent $800 to do the webinar so that first client is gonna cost you $800 that first new client well if your new client is a value of a thousand dollars which that is a pretty good estimate for um, a new client if you're in fundraisers you're gonna make more than a thousand dollars over the course of you know uh, a year or two with a good client that you pick up a new band or something like that so if we take that um, the profit after cost if you only get one new client you've already made two hundred dollars of profit on there that you didn't have before now you may get them from social media you may get them other places but most likely based on all the industry trends or statistics that are out there right now is you're not going to get that good of a return um, on anything else because like we said people are all, you know that people are coming are interested in what you what you're presenting and they're mo they want to do it now it wasn't three years ago they're interested now so that's that's about what we were looking at so how do you get involved the most important thing is you got to give me a call so it's really simple there's not much more to it um, we need to connect and talk by phone I I, I want to also go back and say the other thing that you get that we don't put on the little bullet points kind of hard to put on there is that we don't just say here fill out the form and okay it goes on there I'm gonna spend time 
working with you. We actually have a practice webinar where we'll connect with you online live like this, and we'll actually invite people. It won't be broadcast on the radio station, but it'll be public like this and probably just over YouTube, our YouTube live channel, where people can watch and they can ask questions. And it's just, hey, we're going to talk and say, you know, hey, Joe, we need to check your microphone. We're going to do that kind of stuff. So we're going to say, hold it, Joe, can you move that microphone a little closer? Okay, let's see. Let's sit there. Nope, a little bit back further. Can you tip your camera just a little bit? Yeah, okay. We're going to do that on that free webinar. Um, we're also going to talk about what we're going to talk about in the real webinar. Um, and we let, we let the listeners sit in on that because, hey, it's fun to do. And they might give us some ideas about, hey, you might want to cover this. Uh, you know, if you're talking about um, how to help a program, how, how, how to help save a band program from being cut, you know, there might be somebody on the line that, you know, during our test webinar that may say, hey, this would be really good to cover, you know, this band program down in Texas. They did this. You might want to talk to them about, you know, how they did it or see who they got as a consultant or, you know, talk to them. So it's really helpful. We build the community together and we share. Um, and that's the whole idea. So so we do that. The other thing that we do is we will be providing you with, like I mentioned before, um, I'll actually be sending you a list of what it, what the costs are, so you know what that is, how to, how, what you need to do to get this started and get involved. Um, the other thing is we'll send you a list of equipment. You know, I'll send you links here. You can go buy it at Amazon, have it delivered to your door. Uh, webcam and a microphone. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll see... Um, when I'm record, when we're recording uh, studio stuff uh, for the actual radio station, we use the headphones. But when we're having, and usually I'm just get used to that. But when we're having conversation and we're on the video, I don't like to have Mickey Mouse ears. Um, so only when we do trips to Disney do we do that. Um, but we have earbuds, so we do that. You you, you cannot have your uh, speakers on when you're doing a webinar. You have to have something else. And these are just. I think I paid 10 bucks for these at the computer store. They're really nice. Um, it's that simple. You don't have to have a fancy computer. Um, just a decent laptop works fine. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention for people watching, they can watch um, when we have our app released. They'll be able to watch on the app. Um, so they can watch mobily. They don't have to be tied to a computer um, or to a desktop. Um, you don't have to be tied to a desktop. You can be out sitting outside. We might do some of our webinars from outside. We have a gazebo outside. And we might do that when it gets a little bit warmer in Minnesota. That is, I think, two weeks out of the year that we actually have that. So just looking to make sure that we didn't miss any notes here. I'm just thought, yeah, and we, we'll, we'll help you through the process. The other thing is if, if there's any point in the process where you say, you know, I don't feel comfortable about this. I don't feel, I don't have any social media. How do you use YouTube? What is Twitter? Um, we can handle that for you. We are already providing that service um, for some others where we hope to train others. We'd like to train you on that and show you some tricks of how you can be on Twitter and other things. Um, that should be a future webinar um, that you can watch. Um, so that you can promote your business on, with, on Twitter and that sort of thing. But um, we'll help you with that. So if you say, hey, yeah, we like this process, but we're, I'm a little scared with, okay, following up. And how do I make sure, you know, we do that? We actually will have you a checklist. Here's what you do a week before the webinar. This is what you do uh, three days when we do a train, you know, the test one. This is what we do. We test it out. Um, this is what you do a day before the webinar. This is what you do, you know, an hour before. We always restart all of our computers. We just, the, anything that's involved with the webinar, we restart them from scratch. That's what we do. Turn them off, turn them back on. Fixes a lot of things. So that's one of the things we always work on. And one thing that we have to do is get a clip for our cable so it doesn't pull the earbuds out of the ear. Um, we have, we'll share those tips with you. Um, what earbuds to use, what not to use. Um, and we'll also have the follow-up. What do you do? Because having the webinar itself is not the end of all things. In fact, that's just the start. That's when you get, now can connect with these people. You'll have their email addresses. How? What's the best way to follow through with that? Um, how can you get your information to them and actually have them purchase the things? You know, maybe it's, you know, you, you follow up with them and you find out where they're located. We can actually ask other additional questions in that registration box, like what state are you in? 
Um, so that might be helpful for you. We can ask that kind of question so that you can send out specific emails to you know, those people in Colorado so you know if you're going to the Colorado Convention or um, wherever, Nebraska, that you, you can say, hey, I'm going to be out there and you can follow up and meet with those people. So um, those are the types of things we want to be here to help you. And we feel that bandmusicradio.com is here to just help you in your um, your projects, your services, and your products. I want to. I'm gonna, I'm just also going to. If you haven't read it yet, I'm going to do a little plug for SBO Magazine. Turn to page. Is there page number? Page four. The music ecosystem. Can I do that? There you go. Read it. <laughs> we highly endorse it. That's actually w exactly where we're at. Um, we're here to help others. We want to help the publishers connect with the band directors. We want you to connect with the band directors, the band members, um, the band supporters, the band boosters. Um, we are not just for homes or school bands also, just so you know that. Um, I talk a lot about that, playing it after school and that sort of thing. We also are working on specifically towards university bands. We have a new program that's on there. That's that one of those things that was on the screen about sponsoring the advanced music program that hopefully we'll have up in just a few weeks um, that's aimed at university bands. That's a completely different um, uh, uh, market. The other thing that we're connecting with is uh, a couple different organizations that work with community bands, um, which is completely different. So uh, community bands have completely different needs. You know, so the school bands may need the braces guard for the brass players. Uh, that may not be for the community bands. They may not need that, but they may need some other things like, you know, how to uh, keep up on your instrument when you get in your senior years because some of our community band members have some senior members. Um, some of us are getting closer to that. Um, so all kinds of things like that. So we, we just envision that band music radio can be a place where all of us can come together um, and the band music, the band directors, the band members, the boosters can all get the information that they need to, so their bands can be better, so that they can have a better experience. The people that listen to the bands can have a better experience, so that you can have a better experience. We want you to be able to earn more money for your products and services because if you have a good product or service that's going to support our bands and our band directors, we want them to have your product. We want them to be able to increase their efficiency, increase their effectiveness with their bands. So I'm going to take a look one more time over here. I'm going to put up uh, the information here so you can write that down if you don't already have it, my phone number. You should have my email address after you registered for this event. So you can always shoot me an email. You can also give me a call at that number. Band Music Radio, and just so you, in case you're wondering when you call that number, um, and you get, it says Passion Communications, that is the the owning, it's kind of like the publishing company for, um, you know, you aware some of our, the like SBO Magazine has a different company that uh, publishes it. The same thing with Band Music Radio. So Passion Communications is the parent organization uh, related to bandmusicradio.com. So that's what that is. So I'll put that, so I should leave that one more time. 651-204-9218, extension 101. Just call that during any business hours. And if I'm available, not recording something um, or already talking to somebody, um, I will take your call and love to talk to you about how it will work. Shoot me emails if you have questions about that or want uh, copies of things. Again, I'll be sending out to you um, automatically a little bit after we're done here it should go out um, some information about uh, the equipment you would need basic costs some time and commitment what it involves um, and then you can give an, and it'll have my contact information on there so that's it I don't see any more questions here so we're gonna go ahead and move on for the day thanks for taking the time um, we've spent 60 minutes so hey there we go it's our 60 minute info program uh, just on webinars and our info programs on Band Music Radio. If you haven't given a listen to mu bandmusicradio.com, please do so. We're adding new songs. We Every week we get new songs from publishers. We've got, I think, three new publishers that should be on the air within a week. Um, some great new stuff. 
uh, as a percussionist. We've got some great percussion stuff coming that should be on the air, I would guess, within the next few days. Listen for that. If you've got ideas about new ways to use band music radio to help your business and to help band directors, please let us know. We'd love to partner with you um, to use band music radio in that way. We just want it to help everyone that it touches. So thanks again. Hope you're having a great day. The rest of the day will be good. You'll have hopefully have come up with some ideas about how we can help you. Um, and we'd love to partner with you. So thanks again for being part of this. Give me a call when you have some ideas. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. Bye.